Hey guys, welcome back to the third episode in the devlog series for my space mobile game. Thank you for all of the feedback and comments I got on the last video. It really helps me out a lot. It helps this video. It helps out my game. It helps out a lot of things when I'm um, working on all this stuff. So thank you guys. If you guys have any ideas for features in the game, you can post them down below. It really helps me uh, come up with ideas and it helps the community kind of make this project their own. So feel free to drop some ideas down below and I will try to get them in the game for the best of my ability. Today I randomly created power-ups in the next level UI. What that basically does is that makes it so whenever you approach the end of the level, there's a next level UI thing that comes up and it had some, it had like two power-ups on it and I had to predefine those before that it will randomly select between power-ups I've already made in the game. I've also made a system so I can define the power-ups that I want and how many can be used. I also made it so the same power-up will not appear twice, so... And I also made it so the game is less difficult by lowering the health on everything, because I need to do a lot of balancing later. I have quite a bit of things to balance. So today I made a player drone reload speed increase power up and I also made a player drone damage increase power up. So the player had these two power ups basically before but now I've just imported it for the drones and so now we have that in there. I had an issue with my reload speed after you've uh, gotten that power up a lot. Your reload speed would exceed zero so it would take like zero seconds for you to shoot bullets to get errors. So I clamped them so they wouldn't go to zero or below. I also renamed power-ups so they don't take much uh, space. So I used the plus instead of the increase word. So I just put plus there just, just to kind of make the text not, not take up so much space. It was kind of, it didn't look that great when it was. Today I found that both of the bullets drone and player bullet use the same code so i just found the issue where they were both using drone damage so i i basically fixed that and now the player damage affects the player and the drone damage affects the drone for some reason i had another bug where i i swapped the damage multiplier power up and the um the player drone damage power up they were basically the drone damage was upgrading the player damage and the drone damage i mean then the player damage was upgrading the drone damage so yeah, I don't know what was happening in my brain. I also implemented a hit point system into the game. So now whenever you shoot something, it'll just give off a hit point showing how much damage you've done. So it kind of gives that sense of progression and just gives you a feel on how much damage your bullets are actually doing. After creating the hit point system, there's something I needed to fix. I had um, all my numbers in the game, like all the stats, they were multiplied by the level. So each, the higher level, you kind of, there it gave gets harder but the problem was I was multiplying by decimal points so the hitbox is now displaying decimal points which did not look that great because it looked like it, you were like doing hundreds of damage if you didn't see the decimal so to fix this I had to balance out everything and make everything whole numbers so I basically did that and now the game works I had a I still have a lot of balancing ahead of me but I have it working so that's good I also did some optimization work on the project because this is gonna be a mobile game so I need to do some optimizations the optimization I did there was a couple of problems with the enemies when they blew up it would have to load in the coins instance the destroy particles instance and the destroy piece instance for the enemy and that was a lot of stuff I had to load in at once at that one frame so I decided to store those in the global script and then reference them which worked out really well I also set up the game so I can debug the values of the player stats a lot easier than I could before they're all displayed in the output now so now I can see if I mix up power-ups and make stupid mistakes like that I 
started off the day with um, balancing the purple enemy's health that had a lot of health and I needed to bring that down a bit because that's like one of the starter enemies so I needed to bring it down so it wasn't gonna absolutely destroy you. <laughs> I improved the toaster boss. The problem with it was it only shot like down the side and it kind of moves, but there was edges where it wouldn't shoot you at all. So I decided to make it move to the left and warp around the screen. So that worked out really well. I also got a comment about doing an animation when the toaster boss explodes. So I'm probably going to do that next week. I, I kind of ran out of time to do it this week, but I'm going to definitely get that done next week. I also changed up the hit points so that they actually appear at the position you shot, either than a random position around the enemy, so that looked a lot better. And I also fixed the transition on the power-ups. They kind of, they started at one scale, so when you create the power-ups on the random, there's an animation where the, the power-ups would go to a zero scale and then scale back up, but it would start at one and then scale to zero. And so when I, upon creation, I set it to scale to zero, so they get this like flash of the power-up. So it looks a lot nicer and a smoother transition now. Today I implemented the enemy's bullets, but I, I encountered a bug because they're classified as an enemy right now, and so the bullets kind of kill the enemies as of right now. I'm gonna have to fix that bug next week. It's kind of funny though. I might make a power up or something that kills enemies that are close to you, kind of like that, because it's really satisfying. I balanced out the health on the bosses. I've made them have more health because they were way easy to kill as of right now, so. But I still need to do a lot of balancing in this game. I'm gonna have to basically, next week is gonna be about like balancing, kind of polishing up the game before I add content, getting bugs fixed. But after that, once I get all the boring stuff done, I'm gonna be adding tons of content into the game. That basically ends today's devlog video. I hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.